difference, the recent trilogy of reports from the IPCC made it very clear once again, our planet is in a state of alert. As it heats up, uh, nature is suffering as a consequence. In Denmark, we have been engaged in developing green energy solutions way back since the 1970s, where oil crisis forced our politicians, engineers, and scientists to focus on energy efficiency. But action within one country or one city will not be enough to exit the climate emergency. The world must come together to reduce greenhouse gas emissions and must come together to help developing nations and vulnerable communities to cope with the devastating impacts of the climate change. Today's official launch of the United Nations Environment Programme Copenhagen Climate Center, now known as UNEP CCC, is an important step in that direction. The UNEP CCC will support developing countries to move into a climate resilient and low carbon development. It will work to ensure that nobody is left behind. The latest IPCC report published just earlier this month has demonstrated that we must act now. The message is painfully clear. Greenhouse gas emissions must peak by 2025 if we shall limit future global warming to 1.5 degrees above pre-industrial levels. And Denmark is fully committed to be a global green front runner. Our goal is a 70% emission reduction by 2030 and climate neutrality by 2050. It requires a multi-sector approach where energy consumption, productive growth and nature conservation goes hand in hand. And we possess the knowledge of how to protect our nature and environment to reduce greenhouse gas emissions, and adapt to the consequences of climate change. But of course, this will require bold commitment, not only from governments, but also the private sector and civil society across the globe. The UNEP Copenhagen Climate Center is exactly established to provide and spread the knowledge needed to act and find new low carbon pathways for developing countries and emerging economies. And I truly welcome the mandate of the center, contribution of knowledge and bridging the gap between science and policy oriented climate actions. We are in a climate emergency. The latest trilogy of IPCC reports, the Inter Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, told us that climate change is disrupting our world the natural world, undermining development and threatening millions with poverty. They told us that we're still not doing enough to respond by cutting greenhouse gas emissions, confirming the findings of UNEP's 2021 emissions gap report by prioritizing adaptation measures. A gap report, I should say, uh, published in collaboration with this, uh, this center. So this is an emergency of our own making. The last two decades saw the highest increase in emissions in human history. Even though scientists have warned us for 30 years about the consequences, we saw the kitchen was burning, but instead of reaching for the fire extinguisher, we turned the oven up. Had we started serious cuts to emissions in 2010 or sooner, we would be looking at a much easier task. But now we must almost halve greenhouse gas emissions by 2030 to have a chance of limiting global temperature rise to 1.5 degrees. Indeed, the report that we issued under IPCC just two weeks ago, I think it was at the press conference, tells us that if we are to, we have to peak by 2025, that's three years from now, peak in our emissions load and reduce by 27% by 2030. We can't afford any more delays. We cannot afford any half measures. We need to increase action on both climate mitigation and adaptation to reach the climate goals and to preserve a livable planet for all. But we can still do it. But only if the biggest polluters urgently deal with their own emissions and crucially help developing nations to leapfrog 
to cleaner, greener technology and natural solutions that slow climate change and help communities adapt. And here, the UNEP Copenhagen Climate Center, or UNEP CCC, has a key role to play, placed in this space, in this city, in this country, and delivering this kind of expertise that the center has by filling the gaps in knowledge and supporting developing nations. Right now, we need transformations of all parts of society and economy. To enable such convincing action, we need knowledge sharing, data availability, and accessibility, all of which are key to building the scientific basis for good policies and economic decisions. Transparency is also key and critical to maintain the confidence that people are doing what they promised and so that we can help developing countries which obviously stand to suffer the most from climate change. By linking science and policy, UNEP-CCC will make science more accessible, more trusted, more democratic and accessible such and more useful, thus contributing to the transformations that we need. So friends, the center can make a real difference as it is built on very solid pillars. We have the government of Denmark's unwavering support. We have UNOP's operational skills and we have strong history. The center's staff are stellar and I am so proud of the people who work in the center. With this space to build on, we are set for success. The center will support developing countries as they move on to climate resilient and low carbon development paths. The center will be a vital part of UNEP's mission to deliver compelling science and solutions. It will facilitate international collaboration. Through its work, I expect that the center will help the world exit the climate emergency and shape a safer and more peaceful world. Thank you.